This is Scott Gibson, our, our percussionist. Uh, here Mr. Drummer doesn't here. quite cover it for this guy. He's yeah. a percussionist. He is awesome. It means I'm an educated dummy. So, you know. Educated dummy. Hey, you know, nobody else can here to do that, what he's doing back there. Let me tell you something. That, that carrying the beats is a heavy chore. Yeah. Yeah, but these guys, that's one of them kind of deals. Yeah. But we know we're good. I mean, Jerry is just I know you're amazing. Good, and I was Jerry's done those leads so things so much, you know, that when he's coming up, it really you can, it helps us for presentation just if he's got something going up. Yeah. Just to throw in those little those little accents and right about the time pow, 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 they hit those punches, you know, stuff like that. Makes I, good. I, when I first walked up to him I said, You sounded like an orchestra back here. I had to make sure they weren't some other band members there because his amazing. effects he had it going on was just boom, you know. He he's only Guitar player absolutely can work all those, but he knows what they all do. <laughs> He's busy. You know. so Man, he that's can put out some band. sand. That's a tight band. He is. I started playing that New Orleans Lady. I was like, oh my God, I love that, man. That's like I think so End of the Mystic is my absolutely favorite song. It's just so it's easy. Good. So the first one? Yeah, yeah. 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 We were born. What was the name of that? End of the Mystic. The Mystic yeah. Van Morrison oh, song. Right. We're walking that bass, man. It's so cool. It looks so cool. God, I hope it up. Purple Rain is one of my favorites. I hope, I guess we'll be able to do Purple Rain. We'll see. Oh, yeah, we'll just fake through that. That'd be fun. Okay. I'd like to sing it to you, too, the Purple Rain. That's kind of in my wheelhouse. and <laughs> all dramatic stuff.
Yeah, I, I was born and raised there, and I left when I was about 19 and went on the road, and I lived in Houston a while and Little Rock a while, and then I wound up in Nashville, and that's where I stayed most of my adult life. I spent 28 years there in Nashville. Most of the time I was playing in my own bands, but I played with some other, some of the artists up there too here and there. I played with uh, Ronnie Millsap, and I played with uh, the Allman Brothers Band. Oh, wow. And, and I had That's uh, credibility there, huh? Yeah. It was just one summer. I just did yeah. one summer tour with them. But I uh, played for years at a house gig in a club up there in Nashville. And, uh, but uh, I had my own band, and we got a record deal and everything. But I guess we were ahead of our time, huh? But, uh, Anyway, I, I was there until uh, 2002. My, me and Ben, the bass player, we put a band together in, I guess, 04. Yeah. Yeah. And we've been playing together with different lineups. And it takes a lot of energy to do this. And people think it's really easy, but it's not. And it's not automatic. It, it doesn't just happen automatically. I mean, you have to work at it. And even, though you, even, even if you've been doing it all your life, like I have, I still have to work at it every time I get up there to do it. I'm still having to concentrate and, you know, keep an eye on the business and yeah. try to keep from messing up. Well, <laughs> if I had the physical dexterity I had when I was young yeah. and know what I know now, I might oh. be, a, I'd be a force to be reckoned with. But, yeah. but I love doing it, you know, I, I love doing it all my life and I will continue to do it as long as I'm able to at all. And as long as they'll let me, let me keep doing it.